Movement is one of the most important things in Call of Duty. It's the way you disengage and engage in gunfights. We're going to be reviewing all of them, and trust me, you're not going to want to miss one of them. To start off, we're going to be doing and talking about the good old slide cancel. One of the most iconic movements in Call of Duty now, and it's back in MW3. Slide canceling in this game is actually a lot easier than it's been in the past, and it's a very simple movement. All you're going to do is slide, jump, and then aim in and shoot. So if you do it all together, it'll look like some like this. And there's two ways you can do a slide cancel. You can do a long slide cancel, or you can do a quick and short one. So again, slide, jump, aim, and shoot. Slide, jump, aim, and shoot. And that's how you do it. Slide, jump, aim, and shoot. With a little practice, you get the hang of it. But there's also something to note about the slide cancel. There is something called tax stance in this game, and if you don't do the slide cancel correctly, it will get you in that tax stance, which you don't want. Now, sometimes it is okay to get the tax stance. Like, it's not a big deal, but majority of times you don't want it because it's going to mess up your first couple of shots. And the way to avoid that is pretty simple. You're going to have to time it good. So you're going to slide, jump, aim, and shoot. You have to get that timing right. If not, if you do it too quick and you slide, aim, and jump, you do it too fast, you will get the attack stance, which usually you don't want. So again, to not get it, slide, jump, aim in. Slide, jump, aim in. Take your time and practicing it and getting it kind of like a combo in Street Fighter. Slide, jump, aim in. But that way, you will never get the attack stance. And like I said, it's okay if you get it sometimes, but usually you don't want it. And obviously, slide canceling is going to be one of the number one ways to engage in gunfights in MW3. So a lot of times, you're going to want to slide around corners and challenge and this is going to be a good way to camera people. It's going to be very hard for them to react to you because you're sliding across the screen super fast. If you watch any of the Call of Duty pros play, you're going to see them slide canceling around the map and moving very quickly because this is going to be one of the best ways to challenge everything and almost anything. But the one thing you do have to know on this game is it actually doesn't reset your attack sprint like it did in the past Call of Duties. So you're going to be want to be very, very careful with spamming it because a lot of the times, you do want that tax sprint to get a very good slide cancel and a very fast one. As you can see, while I'm tax sprinting, I get that very fast and quick slide cancel. But if you don't have that, that full tax sprint, you're going to get a slow slide cancel, which looks like this. It's a very slow and not that much of a movement and not much of a camera. Now, you is can be effective and you can use it. But if you want to really hit that hard slide cancel, you want this full on tax sprint where your gun pulls up, as you can see, like this. So you're going to really want it that full tax sprint slide cancel. That's a really strong and effective one. Next movement we're going to, need to talk about is jump shotting in MW3. If you don't know what jump shotting is, it's still an effective way to engage. And it's a, one of the movements still used till this day. There's two main ways to really jump shot and use it. One is obviously jumping around corners like this. Again, you want to get that full tactical sprint if possible to really get that momentum so you can fly across. And you want to challenge, you can challenge around corners like this. And this is one of the best ways and one of the most, like one of the ways you should use it really. Another way is to challenge just a regular gunfight when you're mid-gunfight to kind of start jump shotting like this. And this is going to help you win some random or some close range engagements where you just randomly jump shot and try to get that upper hand with a jump shot to kind of throw them off guard. So again, I see a guy on the down this hallway. I'm going to jump shot around the corner like that. This is another way. It's also really good to check corners. Yeah, sometimes slight canceling a corner can be good. But if someone is like trapped in here, a simple jump shot will kill this guy easily. And a big reason you might be wondering why is because when you jump shot around a corner, you're already pretty much ADSing. And at that point, you all you have to do is shoot, right? When you slide cancel, you have to go in from a slide into ADS like this, and that could take a second. So jump shotting can be very effective in certain situations and certain gunfights. You can jump around a corner. And one of the biggest tips I can give you with jump shotting is you're going to want to make sure when you jump around a corner, you pre-fire the ADS like that, like that. You don't want to be jumping around a corner and ADSing mid like land. You you understand what I'm saying? You want to you want to ADS as before. You want to pre-fire the ADS like this. That is going to help you already be aimed in, already be on your target and take them out. The next movement we're going to be talking about in MW3 is drop shotting. Now, something to note: drop shotting is nerfed a little bit in this game but there's two ways you can actually do this so one of course you have your og original drop shot let's say you get in a gunfight you can see it's not horrible like you definitely could drop shot at a decent speed and drop shotting a lot of the times you're going to want to use it when you're caught off guard you're going to want to use it to catch your enemies off guard so for example this guy right here starts shooting me in the back i drop shot instantly and turn around and that's going to give me a higher chance of killing him because now he has to readjust his aim and follow me down to the floor 
And if he sometimes it gives, you know, sometimes they will miss. You know, and it gives you the upper hand. So if I'm running, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get shot on the side here. Drop shot immediately and go for the shots. You kind of drop shot and pray and spray. So that's how you pretty much want to use drop shotting and when to use it. I like to use it when I'm caught off guard in random gunfights. And it is still viable. It's not horrible. You can drop shot. It's just slightly nerfed in this game, but you can still utilize it. There's also another cool thing you can do with drop shotting. And I call this a slide cancel or the slide drop shot combo. So basically what you want to do is slide. And then at the end of the slide, you're going to drop shot to the floor. Now, a lot of times to do this, you don't commit to the slide cancel. This is the one thing to note. So if I'm going to slide around, I'm not going to slide cancel, then drop shot. I'm not going to do I'm not going to do this because it slide cancel basically puts you up and draw. And I want to drop to the floor. So what are you going to want to do is you're going to want to slide and, and hold the prone stick at the end of the slide. So basically slide all the way and cancel the, the slide by holding the prone stick and get ready to drop to the floor. And it's going to and then obviously aim in and shoot. It's going to look like something like this. Now, this can be effective when you're about to slide cancel and you want instead of committing to the slide cancel, you, or let's say you're in a bad gunfight, you're about to commit to a slide cancel, you see someone, you instantly drop shot. So it's it's a very quick reaction type of movement. But if you think you're about to drop, if you think you're not going to win that gunfight and you rather just jump shot so you don't commit to the slide cancel, you instantly go for a drop shot instead. This, this movement specifically is going to help you in gunfights you shouldn't win. Because like I said, it's a mix of that fast slide movement plus a drop shot, which is really effective when you can, because you can catch them off guard. So I've been running, slide, drop down slide drop down the next thing we're going to be talking about is the good old snaking one of the best movements in this game and you have to use it if you watch all the call of duty professional players on top of slide canceling they all snake now to describe and show you guys an example of snaking is it's pretty much getting behind any cover and then you're going to want to prone to the floor and then get back up but do this very quickly. So it's going to look something like this. And what this does is one, you become a very hard target. It's almost impossible for them to hit you. As you can see, I'm going to let this bot try to see if he can hit me. But it's very hard to hit you. You have all the information in the world. And if I want to take this guy out and send him to the trash bin, he's going to die. That easy. So this movement is very, very effective in Modern for 3. Even till this day, it's one of the best movements in the game. And basically, it's going to look like that. Now, for example, I do have ATS on, which is auto attack sprint. And this makes it a little bit easier. But you see, the bot can't really hit me, even though I'm in front of him. And yes, he might be a bot, but he is aiming directly at me with a shotgun. It's because this is very effective. So to go a little bit in depth to explain it a little better, you're going to want to prone, but run forward to get back up. So prone, run forward to get back up. And then you're going to go back so you don't push up on the wall. So you're going to prone, run forward, back. Prone, run forward, back. Prone, you see? And then you can do it even quickly. And if you do it qu quicker... You won't all the way. You won't fully commit to the ground. You can see still. So I can do it like more to the floor if I wanted to. But obviously, I want to get the information. I want to be able to challenge someone if someone comes in my way. So this can be done pretty much anywhere that has cover. And it's very freaking broken. So that's just something to mind. Like this little trash bin, I can do it. You've seen maybe people do it on the floor sometimes. It's OP. Even though diving is an MW3, it's not a mechanic you really want to use in this game, especially with slide canceling coming back and being one of the most effective movements. And there's two reasons for this. One, you can always just slide away. It's very fast over a dive. So you can just slide away or slide cancel away and challenge something. And two, there's a specific setting that will help your slide cancel even more. You want to go to controller settings and then you want to go to gameplay. Usually you will have a dive on. But you can put a setting where it's slide only. So you realistically only slide. There's no diving involved with your stick. This is going to make your sliding more effective, quicker, faster, and better. And obviously, with it being like basically the number one movement in this game and the number one way to engage and disengage in gunfights, uh, you're going to want it at its full form. And there's one extra little tip really quickly. If you go to your classes and sneakers, you can actually change your covert sneakers like Dead Silence to tactical pads. Now, what this does is, one, it's going to give you a, a, even a longer slide and a faster slide, which is going to probably look pretty insane on your screen. And this is really good for, like, let's like say pubs or anything that doesn't really require Dead Silence. Wow, this is insanely fast. Holy. But this will also make your slide canceling better because it completely removes the attack stance. So you will never struggle with, no matter how early you aim in, you can slide and shoot. So this is a cool thing about it. You can slide and shoot. You never have to worry about attack stance. You never have to worry about anything like that. Your slide cancels are very smooth and clean because you'll never have attack stance activated. 
So your slide canceling with this boots are just insane. Do with the information what you will. Hope this video pretty much breaks down all the movement. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Drop a like. It helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day, guys.